Welcome to the Joomla Ecstasy Tips and Secrets video tutorial. In this new Tips and Secrets tutorial, I'm going to show you how to edit templates, CSS, and files right inside of Joomla 3. <clears throat> now, most of us have been using programs such as uh, FTP programs, Dreamweaver, text editors, and lots of other programs to go ahead and edit the files inside of Joomla and edit the template files such as CSS files, overrides and such. But there's one thing that really hasn't been that apparent inside of Joomla that's been there for a little while but is highly overlooked by newbies and even intermediate people. So I'm going to show you right now how we can go ahead and we can view and edit the CSS files of a template. So let's go over here to our template manager. We all should know where the template uh, manager is. And when we go in the template manager, we're used to seeing this and going in and um, editing the parameters or whatever of the template. But over here we have templates. Once we select this, now we've got our templates in here. So let's look at our enterprise template, enterprise details and files. So we're gonna go ahead and click on this and now you see right here, here are all the files inside the template. So if we want to edit the CSS, we can just open this folder up and we can go ahead and load up the default CSS. As you see here, here's the default CSS, just like any editor you would use with line numbers and everything. And you can toggle for full screen editing and then you just go and you can save. Overrides, now here's something interesting. Now you can create overrides. So as you see, if you want to do an override for any module or any component, any layout, you can go ahead and create an override. Now, if you don't know what overrides are, it's best to stay away from this right now. We'll go into this in a later video. But what an override will do is you can go ahead and override the layout of a component, such as the com content. So instead of just having the core Joomla content look, you can go ahead and put your own div classes in and you can modify where things are and just do file editing. But we'll go into that in another video. And then over here we have the template description. And this is the description of the template. So that's really it. This is just a um, great thing that you can use to go ahead and make modifications to the CSS or to any of the files inside of a template without ever opening an FTP program or a file editing program. I hope this has been helpful and we'll see you soon.